A lot of people are probably wondering, does the LS400 have a cabin filter? The answer is yes. 90s to 92 do not. It may be similar on UCF 20s or second gens, I'm not 100% sure. If you need to find the actual cabin filter, you can find a link in the description below. One will be a carbon filter and one will be without carbon. The one without carbon might flow a little better, but it won't attract all of the miscellaneous stuff that carbon is good for. And really all you're going to need for this is a flashlight and a pocket screwdriver or some kind of pry tool or even just a regular flathead will probably get it done. It's going to be on the passenger side and if you want you can roll this seat back all the way to give yourself a little extra working room. It is going to be a little cramped. To get to it we're going to remove this kick panel. It's not too difficult and there should be two little slots along this ridge that you can slip your pocket screwdriver or pry tool underneath and pop the clip off. So there's three main areas where it'll pop out from. And then two more in the back here. And then you can unscrew this light. Now be careful that little incandescent light will get hot and can burn you or your carpet, which you don't want. Put the panel aside. Now underneath here, you're gonna find two wing nuts, okay? You can undo these by hand, no problem. So go ahead and get those. Don't lose them. And this panel should come loose. Oh, and we already have a bunch of stuff falling out. Now, if you look in there, you can see there are clearly two filters. Now, one of them has a little tab on the end which you'll use to pull out. All you're gonna do is just position those until it drops out. All right, and so see with that little tab, we can pull it out. Now, this is a little annoying because they're really, it, it folds like that. The two-part filter folds so that it'll allow it to drop out. And then with this, Pull on that tab, release it, and pull it forward so it can drop out. And then as it folds out, you can pop it, fold it, like so. So here are our filters. They're not awful. These are actually carbon filters, so they are a little darker. The reason I'm pulling them out is to check for our coolant from the heater core. And it's looking pretty dry and good. Now, considering it is a lot of effort to do this, I suggest replacing them if you are going to check them. You can check them if you want to save money. Cabin filters are a little on the expensive side. I think these were close to 40 bucks because they are carbon, but they are a quality piece. But if you are just checking them, you can just bang them out or blow them with compressed air and then put them back in. So if you look here, here's the little clip that allows it to bend so you can get it out easier. Installation is reverse of removal, so just go ahead and crease that and uh, stick it back in. The thing you want to keep in mind, of course, is which way they bend where this tab is. On the first one, you wanna make sure that tab is accessible so it can actually assist you in pulling it out. So just make sure it's somewhere you can actually access. In the end here, you also have these tracks and they like to sit within each other. So you have one that has two and one that has one and they like to fit in. When they're going in, try and make sure those are lined up. And once they're lined up, installation is reversal of removal. Place that back in, put your wing nuts back on Pretty likely that these little clips will fall off when you take it off. So just go ahead and slide that back on. And then pop your panel back in. So keep in mind the way these are positioned, it's gonna have to come this way. And of course, before you put the panel back in, plug your light back in. All right, and that is pretty much it. Placing the cabin filter is really important, especially if you have a musty smell or if the cabin is feeling stale in general. It's responsible for cleaning out gross things that blow through your vents and everything, and it also protects your blower motor. It is a very important thing to do, and in my opinion, it should be done as general maintenance, and if not, you should at least check it. So if your blower motor feels like it's not blowing the way it should be, or not as hard as it should be, or you're getting a nasty smell inside the car, or you just cleaned it, detailed it, etc., then you're gonna wanna replace the cabin filter. In my case, my fans were very clogged and it made a pretty substantial difference on how much air came out the vents, so it was very helpful for me. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, or subscribe for more content, and thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the affiliate link down below if you need a cabin filter, because this is a great thing to do. Do you wanna keep your LS as luxury as possible, and that includes the smell that's coming out of the vents.